How much do you really know about magnetic fields? Every day, millions, if not billions of people keep wireless devices, smartwatches, phones, earbuds, right next to their body for hours on end. Most of these devices have been made to operate with 5G technology, which means they're operating with frequencies sub 6G up to about 24 to even 100 gigahertz. At these frequencies, the photons don't have enough energy to ionize atoms, like X-rays or gamma rays would, but they do interact with cells and molecules. The big question is whether non-thermal biological effects exist, changes that happen in cells or tissues that aren't due to heat. Laboratory studies have reported subtle effects on cell signaling, oxidative stress, and gene expression under certain RF exposure conditions. Still, the research is ongoing, and given the rapid adoption of 5G and the fact that these devices stay in contact with us for hours at a time every day, scientists need to be on the watch for long-term trends.